Hello YouTube. Um, tonight I'm bringing you a video and I'm going to give a big shout out tonight to Mark with a C. Um, he put out a video today about what it means to be a good father in today's society. And I want to comment on his video and give him support on the video that he did today. Um, something I'm going to do, I'm going to link his video in my description so that you can actually go see it. Um, Mark went over today about what it's like to raise a child, especially a boy, in today's society and what masculinity means in today's society, raising a young boy. As everyone knows, I have a 10-year-old boy. His name's Cody. We call him Darth Cody here on the channel when he's actually on. All right, let me go into this. What does it mean to be a father in today's society? It means everything. A boy, a girl, any child, they need a mother and father. They need that mother for the loving support that they can only get from their mother. But they need that male role model in their life. My son needs me more than you could possibly imagine. He needs me there as that sense of strength, as a rock, um, and also as a disciplinarian. He needs me there to be the one to be like, hey boy, you just screwed up. You know, it's okay if he screws up. You know, I'm going to discipline him, and he knows I'm going to discipline him. But something I have always taught my son is, even though you screw up, you can always come sit down and you can talk to me. No matter what the issue is, you can always come sit down and we can talk about whatever the issue is. But a, a young man, you know, my son, he's 10, he needs to know about the world itself. Um, myself, you know, unlike everyone else out there, you know, it's our job as parents to instill values into our children. If you don't start early, you know, your children aren't going to know the difference between what's right and wrong. Um, I try to instill Christian values into my son, and every time I have him, I sit down and I have long talks with him about what's actually, what's right, what's wrong, why it's right and wrong. Um, now, what does this mean in today's climate? Well, today's climate, the left out there, and these, what I call these weird wacko people, they want to tell you that the family unit, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You can have two moms, you can have two dads, or you can have, you know, just friends that raise you and you're going to turn out fine. And what do I say about that? I think it's horse crap. Um, a child needs a mother and a father. They, they need that stability to actually be able to grow up and have a core to actually be able to stand on and Hollywood and you know these globalist elites they want to be able to tell you that um, family doesn't matter anymore that you you can do without family and you can be raised just fine and it, it doesn't matter you don't need a mother you don't need a father and I agree with Mark with a C with his video talking about how Disney first destroyed the female unit first you know the motherly figure in their movies you know with all the Disney princesses Bambi you know they eliminated the mother you know first now there's an attack on the father figure um you know that men are the enemy especially white men and that you know children don't need men in their lives and that women right now need to rule the world and you know all bow down to the mighty woman now i have no problems with women in positions of power i have no problems with women being bosses um and i have no problems with women in general but when women take it to that elevated level where they believe that they deserve more just because they're a woman there's problems. Anyways, masculinity. Okay, I might get a lot of hateful comments here, but, you know, tell me this. And 
any real woman out there, and what I call a real woman, wants a real man. A woman does not want some beta male that's going to agree with every last whim that she says, that's not willing to get out and do the hard work around the house and actually be a man. A man needs to step up and be a man. And something I have always taught my son, what a true man is, it's not about muscles, it's not about how much money you make, it's not about, you know, being super masculated. Being a man is taking care of yourself, your family, and taking care of those that are weaker than you. I've always told my son that if he gets in trouble at school, if he sees someone getting bullied, and he beats the crap out of that bully, he's not in trouble with me. I'll actually, you know, celebrate with him for actually being kicked out of school for it. Because if he stops bullying and takes up for someone that's weaker than him, he's done his job as a young man. Anyways, um, the world today wants to tell us that any bit of masculinity that we have as men is bad, that it's wrong, and that, you know, the world, you know, is bad with so-called toxic masculinity. And all I gotta say is that's bullcrap. I mean, without masculinity, um, everyone knows I served, I served in the military. Without masculinity, I couldn't do my job. Um, and same way with everyone else that was actually in the military with me. Without our masculinity, you know, without um, having an ego while, you know, we were in, and, well, the word paranoia comes to mind too. Without ego and paranoia, you're not able to function because you would freeze and that masculinity comes out and you're able to overcome. And that's something I teach my son every day to actually be an overcomer. Not to sit back and, you know, wait for the world to give you everything that you're going to possibly want, but for you to go out there and actually take it. Because the world's a cruel place. And if you're not an overcomer, and if you don't go out there yourself and take what you actually want, it's never going to come to you. Um, I think that's the problem today with so many parents is the fact that, you know, they're raising their children to, when they get out of high school, put their hand out and say, okay, I'm supposed to have free college now. I'm supposed to get out of high school and have at least a $100,000 job, you know, just handed to me. It doesn't work that way. It never has worked that way here in the United States. If you want something, you have to work hard for it. And you have to keep working hard for it. And if you fail, that's okay. You pick yourself back up and you try again. And if you fail, you pick yourself right back up again. And you tr try again and again and again until you actually make the success that you actually want to make for in your life. Um, too many times, you know, people give up and... You know, I, I understand people's frustrations, but if you give up, you've already lost. That's that's the problem with America today. If you have actually given up, you failed. Plain and simple. If you've given up as a parent, you failed. You failed yourself, and you failed your child. Um, if you've given up with work, you failed yourself, and you failed advancing further in life. Um, if you've given up on your wife, you failed yourself, and you failed you and your spouse and you failed your own marriage um now there's extenuating circumstances for everything but you get the gist of what i'm saying anyways guys um i'm just replying to you know mark with a c i i have to agree with everything that um he actually had to say about the subject and i want to tell you out there mark um i love you buddy and you're absolutely right in everything that you said. And I'm giving you the big shout out tonight from, you know, the Star Wars dad here. And my message to everyone tonight is please, you know, if you're a father, be there for your children. Raise them right. Spend the time with them that they actually need. 
teach them the values that they actually need because without you they're lost they're they're absolutely lost because they're looking for you they're looking at you to see everything that they need to learn to actually be the adult that they're going to be later on in life so with that said guys if you like what you see smash that subscribe button hit that like button and ring that notification bell and um this is star wars dad and i'm out y'all have a good night